All right, fragrance fam. Here we go with Draco S Boy for him. I had the girl version on a couple of weeks ago. And so now I'm going to unbox and tell you five things you should know before you buy this baby or don't. Little disclaimer, this bottle has been sent to me as it has been sent to many other reviewers. So you can imagine there's a lot of positive hype there. But um, I'm gonna be straight up with you. I actually smelled this one before. Whoops, kinda got out of the package a little bit, but the bottle seems fine. I like this sound. <laughs> you might think it's nothing special, but if you unbox a hundreds, hundreds of fragrances, then it does make a difference. Sorry for my outfit here. I'm just before the uh, my gym. I thought I'll, I'll review this one before I go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, definitely. Okay, so like I said, this one has been hyped to the moon and back. But is it really worth your hard-earned cash? Um, I've done some uh, research <laughs> and sifted through the controversy and I'm ready to give you the real deal, but you'll have to stick around to the end for my final verdict. So now let's dive into the five key points you need to know before adding S-Boy to your collection. First up, the scent. S-Boy is being touted as a masterpiece with a complex blend of notes, but Let's be real, it's giving a heavy Baccarat Rouge 540 vibe, which is not a bad thing necessarily, but if you're looking for a unique showstopper, this ain't it, Chief, okay? Um, in terms of performance, for a fragrance at this price point, you would expect something that is... Uh, definitely in a beast mode area. So the price point here on their website is about $250 for 100 ml. Well, many people are saying, and from my own uh, experience as well, that this thing doesn't last that long. So it could have been better, which is weird because it's not like a fresh fragrance or something like that. It should actually stay longer. Um, well, no, what about the hype? Dereco has been pushing S Boy really hard, and it seems like every YouTube reviewer and their mother is singing its praises. But here's the tea a lot of those reviews, uh, reviews smell a little sponsored, and I know you've picked up on that scent already. So take them with a grain of salt. It's probably good if you try it out somehow, if you have access to a, uh, a sample and see if it's worth your hard-earned cash. Now, if you do have it, what are the occasions that you should wear it? Assuming that um, this baby actually lasts on your skin, S-Boy is versatile enough for both the office and a night out. It's a safe, mass appealing scent that won't likely offend anyone. So it, you could say that it's perfect for the boardroom or the bar. To me, Personally, I would say, however, this is a little pungy for the professional environment. So that being said, who should wear it? If you're looking for an inoffensive crowd pleaser that might garner a compliment or two, S-Boy could work for you. It definitely is something that is, I would say, um, a little higher in the compliment factor than the average fresh smelling scent. But don't expect it to make you stand out in a sea of Savages and Aventuses because those are known to just garner compliments left and right. And I'm sorry to say, but that's just the truth. Now, uh, do I think it's worth the hype and the relatively hefty price tag? In my honest opinion, probably not. Try to get yourself a good deal. Maybe this bottle when it goes on eBay, who knows? But the scent is nice, but nothing necessarily groundbreaking. The performance is okay. And the marketing tactics are, I guess, you know, 21st century, send it out to reviewers and make it work. So, hey, who knows? But if you're itching for a Baccarat Rouge 540 type fragrance, I say go for the real deal or check out some of the other alternatives that are much cheaper. But hey, if you got the money to burn and want to see what all the fuss is about, go for it. Just don't say I didn't warn you, okay? So there you have it, folks. 
Um, this is my unfiltered perspective about S Boy by Draco. Take it or leave it, but always trust your own nose above all else. Your favorite number one influencer. I'll see you in the next one.